We're in the western part of Baltimore. This is perhaps one of the most violent neighborhoods in the United States. In the first seven months of this year, there's over 200 murders. That is one murder per every 19 hours. To cover the situation, a, a group of local residents came and rallied for 72 hours of ceasefire, hoping that Baltimore people would drop their weapons and give out violence for at least this weekend. A similar event in May fell, all, fell short of its goal. It is unclear whether the organizers would reach their goal this time. Some people go immediately, this is a sigh of relief, thank you so much for doing this, somebody should try to do something. Some people go, you should try, but it's probably not going to work. Um, and then some people say, I think it's stupid, I think it's not going to work. And that's where those people are in their journey and they haven't seen anything that would teach them otherwise. Even if someone gets shot, even if someone unfortunately passes away tonight or tomorrow night, right? We have accomplished the goal where it might not be so unrealistic. People think this is unrealistic, but it's actually a very realistic thing for people just to chill for one weekend and not shoot anybody. But yeah, I feel like at the end of the day, if you look around as y'all get footage, this is success. I go, to, personally, I go to at least three or four funerals every year. Some years I go to two funerals in one day. America is one of the most violent places on earth, right? And so within a system where in order for it to survive, some people have to be at the top and some people have to be at the bottom, of course the people at the bottom of that structure are going to use the same tactics to find their power as the people at the top use. And so Baltimore's violence, Detroit's violence, Chicago's violence, these are all just results of American culture and America oppression.